Uh, sometimes things go wrong, and sometimes things go terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. Okay. This is one of those. Okay. Take a look. The filter between private thoughts and public declarations can be perilously thin. Case in point, here in New York, a local news anchor is exchanging pleasantries with the weatherman on last night's newscast. Takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. Uh, I guess that's me. Yeah. Keep f***ing that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do uh, Excuse me? Based on the reaction of his co-anchor, yes, he really did say that. Clearly the word plucking was in his head, but the word right next to it came out. What a difference a couple of consonants can make, especially when a chicken is involved. With that, he joins a long, rich history of TV chicken plucking moments. Sask Energy is announcing a proposal to back off, uh, up the cost of heating your home. Let me Trans talk, Carol. Translate that for us. I don't know what that means. What does that well, mean? Well, if you would let me talk. Texas rat snakes are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> <laughs> he climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. Oh, my God. Well, I got my balls screwed up. They're all uh, loaded up, as you can see, with <laughs> snow. <laughs> it looks like Ruben is in the lead, and here comes Al. Oh, that was a bad idea. What did you think he was going to say about the chicken that he didn't um, quite say? Uh, plucking, you I believe, was the word that was... plucking that chicken. Mm -hmm. I think that was the intent. I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> Mix up my <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Sure. Absolutely terrifying. It's just, I feel like, <laughs> I can see my own life flashing before my eyes. Um,